What's up foodie fam? It's Miranda, also known as Uprooted Foodie. Today I'm in Los Angeles with Michelle, who is also the Freedom Fairy. Yes, I am the Freedom Fairy. My mission here is to help people realize their own freedom and um, I am a fairy, so. <laughs> I wanted to interview her today. We met on Instagram because we were both Daisy LA ambassadors. And uh, Daisy LA is a clothing company based out of Los Angeles. So we met on a platform where we could be introduced to one another through Instagram and Facebook and all of that. I really liked what her page had to offer. So I just kind of thought that maybe it would do well here to kind of introduce you guys to her because she's got a lot of things to offer that are really neat that are also in alignment with kind of a vegan lifestyle but also kind of like a world knowledge like traveling lifestyle so let's talk to Michelle yay let's start with what do you do I guess yes so I'm a holistic health mentor the aspects that I focus on are eating everyday daily habits as well as the use of crystals and positive thinking, as well as following your intuition. Yes. You are a crystal healer, and you you have psychic abilities. Do you use that as well, kind of in your crystal healings ever? Oh, yes. <laughs> 100%. My journey with my intuition has been crazy. <laughs> Even just a year ago, you know, before I real, when I was just starting to get more into crystals, um, you know, a lot of crystals, the descriptions would say good for developing psychic ability or, you know, stuff like that. And just because like many people can probably relate, our society has conditioned us to think that psychic is a bad thing it's a scary thing right um, and so I always like tried to stay away from that through my education um, becoming a, a certified crystal healer I started to see that um, it's not what we've been taught that yeah. it is um, it I mean of course like anything in this world in the wrong hands anything can be bad but uh but um yeah i definitely it it honestly just comes out when i'm doing the healing like i see i'm clairvoyant which is a um, psychic seeing so i see things that most people can't see like i see energy um i see fairies um uh and um, i also get images in my mind um when i'm you know uh praying of for my client, I, I get images and I, of course I relate it to the mm -hmm. client and uh, they always come back and they say, uh, yeah, Michelle, that's totally what I'm going through or I totally connect with that. And I also hear things, um, this is clear audience, so I get messages, um, you know, about my client, like, um, I, basically, I get like the prayer I need to say for the client, you know? Wow. Yeah. That's a really beautiful way to put that too because uh, I never really knew what Claire Audience was. I mean, I, I know what it translates to, but I never really knew how it was uh, kind of the, the point, I guess, or like what's the purpose of, of that. Um, because clairvoyancy is something I'm familiar with and I actually haven't heard it in the way that you described it, but I've only ever heard it as something like you kind of can see what's to come almost, but that it also explains like your psychic abilities. So yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's um it's honestly all the all the Claire gifts because Claire just means clear. Mm -hmm. It's just a French word. It means clear. Um, but it it encompasses um just uh, everything that is not necessarily like tangible. So it can be yeah. stuff that's in the present that's not tangible, stuff that's in the past that's not really tangible, stuff in the future that's not really tangible. It's just anything yeah. that most people are not um, always aware of easily. Mm -hmm. And I feel personally that I'm very clairsentient. Yes. Um, so when I'm around people, I can definitely pick up on the energy in a room or I walk into a room and I just feel what's been there, kind of. Um, it's something I also haven't talked about really ever, uh, not on this channel either. Either, <laughs> either or even. 
like you said, you know, a lot of people can tap into that stuff. Yeah. But they just don't know how or they don't know how to categorize it or label it or it's been condemned by society. Yeah. So that's something. Yeah. And that's a, also too, like, especially if you deal with a mental illness, a lot of the times they just, they just, uh, say that's mental illness yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's true. and uh and so i can tell you from my own experience when i got these diagno diagnoses diagnoses yeah yeah of of all my mental illness which they gave me like four <laughs> um you know i automatically started thinking like all my like intuitive like things that would come up i would just disregard and i would say oh that's my depression that's my anxiety but then, because I wasn't paying attention to my intuitive signals, mm -hmm. I got myself into really bad situations. And, you know, it took uh, many different twists and turns for me to realize, um, no, that intuition is real. And uh, I have a stronger, um, you know, gift in that way, and um, it actually really fascinated me, and I felt really empowered by it. So I um, decided to work on it some more, you know, strengthen it, and I still am working on it to strengthen it. And yeah. um, because it's uh, it is a tool that you can use to help yourself and help other people. So, um, and it's something I'm naturally gifted at. So why not? accelerate or uh, boost it you know mm -hmm. so to the best of my ability you know yeah well not to throw a wrench into things but I did bring some crystals from home yes! <laughs> so so I'm just kind of curious yes. what you will have to say about the crystals I have. yes girl I'm so excited I'm gonna hold it up to the screen and put a label on what it is and we'll see if Michelle gets it right okay, okay. hold your hands out Give me three guesses. Well, or five. <laughs> or 20. <laughs> or 20. 20 it's, questions. Because it's basically just a smooth rock in your hand. So Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not the psychic twin girl, you know? No, 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 like, no, no. <laughs> Okay, is it black? No. Well, there's some black on it. Is it a tiger's eye? Mm. Is it striped? No. Is it like a dark blue? It's a blue. Oh, is it like um, dolomite? Dalmatian. It's Dalmatian Jade? Yeah! Is it? Yeah! Okay. Is it Jade? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, ooh, it's pretty. It's so beautiful. Yeah, because I was feeling the lightness. Mm -hmm. I, and I definitely, the first thing I got was like black. I thought, oh, and it kind of feels like maybe like lapis lazuli. Or, um, <laughs> but it was light, so it was kind of throwing me off because it was so light. That's awesome! Yeah. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Something that I always tell people that don't really know about crystals, um, just the easy way to kind of know what they're about mm -hmm. is look at the color. And if you know about the colors of the chakras, oh, then you associate the color with the chakra. So let's talk about the greeny blue. Could be used for the heart chakra because your heart chakra is green. Or could also use be used for your throat because the throat chakra is blue. Oh, yeah. Um, so both of those, any characteristics that have to do with the heart and the throat, so like with the heart, is like, you know, releasing, showing your, your love to people or accepting love into your life, cool. loving yourself, um, speaking from your heart, which also goes, you know, with your throat chakra, speaking your truth, being authentic with your words. And um, the throat chakra is something people don't always realize kind of goes with cl clear audience. Um, no, no wonder my throat chakra is so huge. <laughs> like, like um, you Girl, know, your throat chakra is showing. I know, <laughs> I know. It also helps you listen to people. You know, like oh, yeah. hear what's the most like the most important messages. Cool. Yeah, and then also with that black there, also um, is associated with the root chakra. So you could also use it for your root chakra. Great. Which most people think only red, but actually also black helps. So like the creativity, is that so your what you're root, saying? So your root chakra is actually survival, Ooh. is actually the physical world, the physical being present. Okay, because I bought this with two others. One was like a yellow stone and one was um, 
like a quartz, rose quartz, because that's my birthstone, but, and that's about all I know. <laughs> but yeah. I bought those three together because something about the three of them tied in to mean put these in a new home and you'll feel at home. And so I got those before I went to Montana so that I could, or one, maybe while I was in Montana, so I could put them on my windowsill and feel at home wherever I was. Yeah, is grounding. Grounding. Yeah. And then cool. also plus your home is where your heart is. So I know, that's what the heart chakra. Like, oh, the heart chakra. Okay. That's great. Thank I love you. it. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Let's Next do, one. We've got two more. Ooh, that one's heavy. <laughs> It's in the shape of a heart. It's very popular. Um, at least I think. Oh, is it selenite? Yeah, it is! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, uh, I have a selenite heart. It's yeah. a little bit bigger, but um, yeah, 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 selenite, yeah, selenite is, I mean, they make a lot of crystals in the shape of a heart, mm -hmm. but um, but it, it felt woody to me. It also felt light. Because like, it's kind of older and it's not as smooth, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's textured, which wood is like texture, you know? Yeah, um, it's textured because I've been throwing it in my purse and taking it everywhere. <laughs> no, no, that's just the nature of selenite, though. Okay, honestly. okay, good. Yeah, um, but selenite, oh, you got a good one, girl. Selenite is so good. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Um, it's good for so many things. Like, um, it's good for um, uh, canceling out EMF waves radiation that comes from cell phones, electronics, and it's actually, you know, it's not the best for us. <laughs> That's so funny. I always end up throwing it in the pocket that I throw my cell phone Look at in. You. That's your intuition, girl. That's my intuition. See? You, you don't even know. So many times you don't even know you're doing shit right. It's, it's, That's it's funny. intuitive. You know, you're That's not really so thinking funny. about it, but it's the right shit to do, you know? That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I also heard selenite is good because it's like uh, is it the angel stone? Is that what it is? Yeah. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. It's like a guiding stone? Or is yeah, that, is that it helps them. Um, it helps you connect with the spiritual realm. So if that's you want, right. If you want it's to good connect, for meditation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If I you want to, so. if you want to connect with the spirit realm, um, even, even, you know, even if you just want guidance, like, you know, even your own inner guidance, because honestly, um, you know, heaven is inside of you. You know, God is inside of you. So, you know. <laughs> I'm God. Yeah, you are. You a are. Goddess. Yeah, you are. We're goddess. God is a woman. <laughs> yes! God it is. is. A woman. Because he is a creator, but who's the creator? It's a woman. Anyways, <laughs> continuing. Continuing. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add about selenite? Um, also, you don't want to get selenite wet. Wet. I've heard that too. Yeah. I, I, like the minute I was like, that I bought it, I got a scratch on it and I tried to wipe it off and I was like, oh no, can I do that? <laughs> and then I looked it up and it was like, don't get don't. it wet. Why? Because actually it, it dissolves in water. Oh no. And actually. My heart dissolves. If you want, there's actually, I got a spray when a local, um, you know, person oh. actually dissolved selenite in water to create a spray. So it's like a cleansing spray, but it's like selenite water, cool. basically. Um, another thing is that my golden retriever has eaten every piece of selenite that he's ever gotten a hold of. No, so no, no, no. if you have animals, just to be on the safe side, put your selenite somewhere else. <laughs> put it in the pantry. <laughs> okay, I have one more crystal okay. for you. Here's the last one to the camera. I'm excited. I know a little bit about this one, which is why I still I haven't lost it, so, okay. Labradorite? Jasper no. or Unikite? I think it's Jasper. Oh, actually, no! Ooh! Ooh, girl! This crystal threw me off, girl! <laughs> I had no way. I was totally thinking of other stuff. Um, you know, I want to say this is Carnelian. Just because I've never really seen it with this many like um, color variations, I've only seen it when it was like orange. Okay. You know, but it might be carnelian. But um, again, it, like we talked about, if you associate it with, um, look at the color and associate it with the corresponding chakra color. Mm -hmm. um, do you know much about the chakras? Well, you were saying red is more for your um, root chakra. Yeah. So grounding yeah uh 
but I remember like the details on this were also something about like it inspires your creativity. Yes, girl. And is that what the root chakra did? Did no, you no, just no. say that? No, 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 oh. no. The root, the root chakra. You're right. Is like it's the grounding, survival. It's the survival. And it does have red in here, but it also has orange, which does is your creativity. That's your womb. Okay. <laughs> that's your womb, like, girl. That's where you create. That's creativity. That's feelings. That's the divine feminine. That's uh, it's not only feeling like emotions, but it's physical feelings. And it's wow. also if you're clairsentient, that's also your clairsentience. <laughs> that's why this is always with me because yes. I am like on it with the yes. clairsentience. Yes. That is so fucking cool. This is definitely what I always just remembered as like, oh, this is my creative stone. I've had yeah. it for two years and I bought it with the selenite. Mm. And I also bought another one mm. that I'll just tell you. Okay. Should I just tell you? It's petrified wood. Oh, I love petrified wood. And I bought wood. that because I worked with somebody who annoyed the shit out of me every day. And the details on that, <laughs> you're laughing because you like know, right? I know. Yeah, the, de the details of that are like, to not let the things that would normally bother you bother you. Um, so that's why I got that. It worked. It I worked. Love. I yeah. charged it every day. I meditated with all three of them and then I would go to work and I would set it at my desk and I wouldn't be bothered. I and it was nice. It. I yeah. love it. I love it. And I worked like right next to this person. So it was like Oh, that's so I love that. Sorry story. if it's obvious, but yeah. <laughs> I need to I need to not be bothered by and you. And talking about the the petrified wood, um, uh -huh. you know, wood usually that petrified is usually brown. Mm -hmm. So again, corresponding with that that same sacral chakra, other colors you could use for the sacral is brown. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That makes sense. I definitely needed to survive. So. <laughs> Is there um, anything else you want to talk about or anything else you want to add? Um, I kind of just turned this into a crystal, a crystal reading. Video. That's okay. <laughs> hey girl, I'm fine yeah. with it. Yeah, I mean, um, there's plenty of other other topics we could talk about, but um, you know, I guess my, my main message is that, um, you know, that you have more power than you even realize. You know, like, there's so many problems out here oh. with the ice cream truck. Showing us that, you know, that actually it's not as, as intense or heavy or you have options, you know? Like, um, I've been in situations in my life and my health where, you know, I was doing all the right things and um, it, I wasn't getting better. And I was so close-minded for such a long time and I got to the point of so much suffering and I couldn't deal with pain. Um, physical, you know, emotional, just feeling so, so much pressure and oppression that I was finally like, fine, let me try alternative, you know, methods of getting better. And you know what? They helped. They worked. And they worked so well that now people are asking me, Michelle, what did you do? Like, other friends that knew me when I was struggling and they're still struggling with the same stuff or even my former therapist and psychiatrist are asking me Michelle they one of my one of my therapists actually wants me to work for them <laughs> that's that's goals that is, and it's like that's what goals. and it was so crazy because I went to them because I was so sick and so desperate mm -hmm. and then now they're asking me hey Michelle can you help our patients and it's like and I'm thinking like and I'm thinking like, uh, I'm not a therapist. I, I went, my degree is in dance. Uh, I'm a crystal healer. I taught ballet for five years. How am I qualified <laughs> to help people with their mental illness? But he told me, he's like, Michelle, because you went through it yourself. You know, you're out of it. Who better to, to help people with the same problems, you know? That's so magical. Isn't it? That's magical. Isn't it? <laughs> I was like, it was so unreal to me. I was crying on the phone. <laughs> that's a true story. That's yeah. a, that's like a journey story. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Go follow Michelle. Subscribe to her. She's on Instagram too. She does a lot of like stories and lives. So go check her out. And yes, I had so much fun talking crystals with you. Me too, Miranda. I'm so I I'm like, so happy fun. that you you know you brought them to me and I was able to. And you already knew some stuff. You you didn't even know you knew. Oh, I know. Like, <laughs> like the cell phone thing with the cell phone. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing it too. Yeah. So.
she's good. she's a crystal herself. You are a crystal. <gasps> You're a gem. Oh. What kind of crystal would I be? You know what? That's a fun question. That is a fun question. <laughs> she's like. Oh, no. yeah. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure yet. I want to say, um, uh, angel or amethyst. Okay. 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 Uh, it's uh, the crown chakra. It's, uh, treated with, uh, metal and heat, so it's actually multicolored. And, uh, you know, very connected to the spiritual realm, intuition, um, calming. So, uh, and it's pretty, it's pretty a uh, commonly used crystal, um, but the angel aura makes it a little bit amped up. But I think for you, I kind of got rose quartz, okay. even though you said that was your, you know, your birthstone. Yeah. Birth stone. But uh, honestly, I, I think um, I'm always drawn to it. Yeah. I almost, it, it feels, it's like the selenite where it's like it's. It's attractive to me because I'm a Libra. I think attractive things are fun. Um, yeah. By the way, go check out Michelle's channel. We just did my star chart reading on her yes, channel. Yes, <laughs> it was so fun. Yeah, so we'll talk more about those things. But uh, I'm always drawn to beautiful things and I'm, I'm always drawn to like the translucent or iridescent type of things. And so like Rose Quartz has a little bit of that, but it's pink, which is my favorite color. So. Yeah, and it and it goes, it goes along with your rising. Ascending. Yeah, ascending. Yeah, yeah because is like the nurturer, the mother, the the lover, you know, yeah. you know. So intense love, and yeah. I might bleep out when you say <laughs> just so that. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's a surprise. Sorry. No. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you again, and I'm thank so glad you. I came to LA and I met know. Her. I'm so glad we collabed. Yes. This is so fun. Yeah. I mean, I was obviously in LA for a lot of other things, but I made a point before I left. I was like, I have to reach out to Michelle because I know she's there. So. I love Miranda. She's great, you guys. She's she is. You need to you need to you know jump on her wagon. Okay? Oh, that's so <laughs> nice. Come on my wagon. Yeah, come we've on. got There's, vegan snacks. Yeah, vegan <laughs> snacks. She's got them. We got them. And speaking of vegan snacks, we're gonna go uh, have some and go to a jazz jam. Yeah. So, um, yeah. See you on the next adventure, whether that's on the road or in the kitchen. Cute. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>